In today's quick video, let's talk about glutamine. Let's dive in. Glutamine, and more specifically talking about L-glutamine when speaking about supplementation, is an amino acid found in high levels in the body. It's actually produced mainly by our skeletal muscle and it's released into circulation for use by the kidneys, the liver, the immune system, and our GI tract as well. It really is important for maintaining intestinal function, our immune system function, and homeostasis of our amino acids, especially during times of stress. During times of severe stress, uh, glutamine is really depleted and a lot of times the body is not able to make enough to keep up with demand. This supplement is generally well tolerated. We see dosages as high as one gram per kilogram daily for adults and usually not to exceed 0.7 grams per kilogram for children. Again, this is generally safe for most people. You may have some GI side effects like gas, bloating, maybe diarrhea, and we really don't recommend it for pregnant or lactating women. A big usage for supplementing with glutamine is actually sickle cell disease. There is a specific product that has actually been approved by the FDA. It helps to reduce some of the acute complications related to sickle cell disease. Glutamine sometimes is also used uh, in hospitals for things like severe burns and for wound healing as well. Now in cases like that, it's often put directly into the GI tract, so it's bypassing the liver. And those are again, higher dosages but that's in usually in a hospital type setting. Now, reasons why it's often used in this way is because it is a powerful antioxidant as well as anti-inflammatory. In some studies, we see that it helps to reduce uh, inflammatory cytokines and has been shown to improve cellular immune function. Again, it is also antioxidant in that it is helping to scavenge free radicals and helping to prevent uh, and reverse oxidative stress. There's also big use for glutamine for its GI effects. Um, some studies show that the enteral cell Sites or the cells that are lining the um, gut lining actually use glutamine as fuel and that helps to play a regulatory role in the intestines. It can also help to reduce intestinal permeability as well. In cases of diarrhea, glutamine has been shown to actually help to increase the absorption of water and minerals, so helping to prevent dehydration and loss of too many electrolytes. Glutamine also plays a role in our immune system. It actually provides metabolic fuel for different types of white blood cells, though like lymphocytes and macrophages, and even with our fibroblasts. So again, playing a role in wound healing. And again, glutamine in some studies has been shown to help stimulate some of our immune cells as well. There are some questions as to whether glutamine can help with skeletal muscle recovery, especially after intense workout. So we know that in times of physiological stress, um, we're not able, our skeletal muscle is not able to produce enough glutamine to keep up with demand. So there are some questions about supplementing with glutamine to help with recovery, but the studies are a little bit mixed on whether or not it actually helps with muscle recovery. Um, I'll leave a link down in the description box to some of the studies that I'm citing here as well. Now, how do I use glutamine? I actually use this one quite a lot in my clinical practice as well as with my coaching clients. Um, I tend to use this to really help with the GI system um, to get your GI system back on track, especially with those that have leaky gut. I will often prescribe this as a powder and can kind of dose anywhere between one to 10 grams a day. Again, totally depends on the person. Um, this again is usually in a powder that you can add to a smoothie. You can add it to water, it, depending on what type you get. It really doesn't have much of a flavor. And again, the side effect profile is generally pretty non-existent to mild. I use this one quite often in people who are having food intolerances or food sensitivities um, with people who are having autoimmune issues, because again, a big, huge portion of our immune system is in our gut and often helping to repair the leaky gut and to kind of get that intestinal mucosa healthy again um, is very helpful in that. And I find that using glutamine in this way has been very helpful. All right. I hope that this video was helpful and that you learned something. Let me know your experience with glutamine down below or if you have any questions. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.